an, an, an ethical code would be a, 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 a code that laid down a, a series of um, behaviors that are expressive of truth or reality that come that 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 that, that show people how to behave in line with or in a way that is consistent with the fact that everyone shares their being that all ethics can be boiled down to that single fact ethical yeah. behavior is behavior that is consistent with the fact that we all share our being this is why saint augustine when asked about these matters ethics and morals he simply said love and do whatever you want he he meant simply realize that you are one with everything and everyone and as long as your behavior is consistent with that understanding you don't need any moral code that, that you, everything you do will be consistent with that understanding the reason why we need um, ten commandments or a moral code is because for those of us that do not yet feel this we are yes. we are told how to behave in a way that is consistent with this understanding until we realize it for ourselves. so let's go back to uh, david and the symphony so the violinist is um you say in, in your analogy the violinist is, is one who is is uh, aware yeah, of, yeah. of of that yeah. that she shares her yes reality yes with everyone and the clarinetist <laughs> does not yet r realize this he, he he still believes and feels that he is a, a temporary finite self however I, I would suggest that many artists and many musicians when they are in their studios or when they are performing in their in their quartets or their bands or, or, or their orchestras that they are at least for the duration uh, for a period of time in which they are performing they are they their art they transcend yeah. their limitations as a person and they perform in a way that is expressive of truth or reality when they then go back to their everyday lives they revert to believing and feeling that they are a separate self or an ego but many people uh, um, in fact this is why for, for, for some for many artists them that their art is a kind of it, it's it's um, it, it's not a compulsion it's something that they they can't not do that, that they, they know that when they are in their studios or performing um, in their orchestras or band they are in touch with something that they know is so utterly alive and true and in that moment they do transcend the sense of separation they are expressing the truth reality love so it's not it's not black and white it's not either you've recognized yourself mm -hmm. your, your true nature and yes. you, everything you do expresses that or you haven't yet there is a spectrum yes Beautiful, yes, and, 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 and it, it's not yeah. only true. Uh, sorry, it's not only true of, of artists. It's it's true of everybody. Yes, e exactly. Every, in, and, in that and, sense, all eight billion are artists. In that sense, yes, everybody, yeah, yeah, yeah. all eight billion of us know the experience of love. In other words, everybody has tasted the fact that we share our being, and everybody has had the experience of behaving and relating in a way that is consistent with that understanding. For most people, it's only di that behavior is only directed towards a few people in their circle, their friends or their family. Yes. But nevertheless, they've still understood and felt what it is to, 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 to share our being, even if that is not their consistent experience. And Rupert, would you say that we are over the last several thousand years, if not tens of thousands of years, that we have been going more and more towards the the general general 
uh, real, the, the full embodied realization more, and so. more of that. I hope so, Alan. I hope so. Because that's, that's, and that's the general idea of what, it, like, an evolution, yeah. when people say that word, that's, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I tend to be optimistic. Optimistic, I, I, yeah. I, 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 <laughs> Everything ultimately is destined to return to its source. There is nowhere else for it to return to. So ultimately, everything is destined for its source. One could argue that there is more more violence, more disharmony, more conflict in the world today. I would suggest that, that, that the old structures were that that, that in in our society were egoic structures they were structures in in our corporations in our governments in our institutions but they were um structures that were based upon an egoic sense of self as more tyrannical a a separate self and that expresses itself in extremes in, in in tyrannical dictatorships but also in much smaller ways in in families in companies in in communities and that the, the, sen- the sense of separation can express itself. So I would suggest that the, the chaos we see in, in, in our society today uh, and the, the violence, the conflict, I, I hope uh, and, and I believe that, that, yeah. that it is the evidence that these structures are falling apart because they're not based in truth or reality. Yeah. And although we're witnessing a, a, a time of great upheaval, I hope that it, and I believe that that it makes a, it makes for the possibility that a, a, a new um, order will emerge, one that is based on yes. our shared being. That yes. this yes. must be that, that there's the single understanding exactly. that we share our being with everyone and everything must be the foundation of any truly civilized. Culture. It must be at the origin of a, a, a civilized culture. I love that. I love that. That first principle of recognition of it, shared it, being. It, yeah. It, 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 it's the principle that it should be the fundamental principle of all, well, not only of all of us, but, but, but because we're speaking of the world, of all politicians. Yes, exactly. All, all p- politics should be yes. in the service of one idea or one understanding alone, namely everyone and everything. When I say everything, I include everything because I'm not just talking about animals and people. I'm talking about the earth, yes, yes our environment, yes, yes. that everyone yes. and everything <laughs> share their being. That, that, that should be the single guiding principle of, uh, of all people in general, but politicians Yes. In general, that their policies, their individual policies, then in relation to different, to different situations and events, would would be the means by which this understanding was then expressed and, and shared and, and communicated and implicated in society. Yes, we have been very obsessed about taking that recognition of shared being and having it deeply uh, embodied at. Uh, Davos at the World Economic Forum in the global 500 top companies, all the presidents and congresses of the world in Hollywood and Silicon Valley, all of these places, especially in people that have so much guiding influence um, are the most important, especially to have that recognition of shared being be that first yeah. principle. And, and when it becomes the first principle, Rupert, it also enables um, the, the, the recognition that my clarinet or violin or saxophone or drums or bass or whatever I'm doing, it must be for the, the, the service to other. It must be for um, augmenting the social fabric, for uh, enabling the basic needs on like a Maslow's hierarchy to be met so that if air, water, food, energy, education, healthcare, et cetera, are met, it enables people to have a deeper uh, self-abidance. It enables the inquiry into the true nature of reality, plus it enables them to become an art, a, a artist in the symphony as well. And so that's sort of the general process that at least I see yeah. uh, happening. W- w- one who is... Um... One who feel, not only understands, but feel that they share their being 
with everyone and everything. They play in tune <laughs> in, the, in the symphony. And one who does not feel this plays out of tune. tune. <laughs> Out of tune, trying to hoard materialistic possessions and um, that type of stuff that uh, that versus um, playing in tune. Um, I, I, I like that. I like that as well. That's so, so excellent. 